Good morning, Middle 3. Today, we are going to work on Unit 15 in your O11 books, Technology. Okay? So please open page 29 and start reading with me. The latest technology. Egypt was the first Arab country to use the Internet and now has nearly 50 million Internet users. However, technology is changing all the time, so it's important to learn about the latest developments. Many jobs now require you to know how to use social media. Some companies now use social media to advertise jobs and to arrange interviews. In fact, if a person didn't know how to use social media, it might be more difficult for them to find work. How we send messages is also changing. In the past, you could only send emails using a computer. Now, you can send text or emails, text or emails on a mobile phone or tablet. Social networking sites allow you to send messages to many people at the same time. This is very useful if you want to send messages to a group of people. For example, to your friends in a sports team or a club, a book club. The way that we use our mobile phones is also changing. We can use them to transfer money to or from a bank or even to pay for things in shops. If someone wanted to have the latest technology, they could buy a smartphone. The latest technology can help you to do many things. You can find out about it online or in some magazine. Now, let's move to question 3 in page 29. Which of the words in red in the text mean the following? Number 1 is already answered. Number 2, to tell people about something in newspaper, on TV, etc., whatever, which means to advertise. Number three, make plans for something to happen, the word arrange. Number four, need or ask you to do something means to require. Websites used by people to communicate social media. Move someone or something from one place to another means to transfer. Okay? Now, let's move to question number four. Are these sentences true or false? Number two, you can find some jobs on the internet. Of course, it's true. You need a computer to send an email. Of course, it's not. It's false. Some people can buy things using their mobile phones. Of course, that's true. Now, page 30, which is the grammar lesson today. In this, in this lesson, we are going to learn the second conditional, if. Of course, that you all know that if has four conditions, zero, if type one, type two, and type three. Today, inshallah, we are going to take type two. Okay, why do we use if type two or the second conditional? Is when to talk about situations that are impossible to happen, okay, or might not happen at all. What is the grammar rule here? We use if, past simple, would, infinitive. Would, might, or could. This is your grammar rule. Okay? Sorry. So the rule is if plus verb in the past simple tense. Continue with would plus verb in the infinitive form. I said before, you may use might or could. Okay, page 30, question number two. Complete these sentences with the correct form. Number two, if we all loved, plus simple, each other, the world would be, would plus infinitive. Number three, if I was or were, okay, you may use was, you may also use were with all the pronouns, if she were, if he were. Why? Because it's something impossible to happen. So, if I were very ill, I would go. Number four, 
If you didn't know, why didn't? Because it's in the past simple form. If you didn't know how to speak English, it would be. Number five, his parents would help if he told. Past simple would infinite. Now, let's move to page 31. Okay, this function box is very, very important. Why? Because you're going to use it either in the dialogue or in the situation. Okay? How to encourage people to speak or to continue their speech? Number one, we have great. What else does it say? Okay? Number two, really? Go on. Go on means to continue your speech. How wonderful. Tell me more. Number four, then what happened? Or what happened after that? Don't forget. Now, let's move to page 32, lesson 4, Digital Projects. Okay, Digital Projects. Let's read together. Unfortunately, many of the world's ancient wonders are in great danger. However, a way to help Save many of these monuments have been found by Ben. I'm sorry, Ben Kassera, an engineer who comes from Iraq. CRC is a project that he started in 2002. It uses special cameras that take photos of ancient temples and monuments. If anything happened to these buildings, the photos would help archaeologists and engineers to repair them. CR's projects have also been put on an online gallery so that people from all over the world can see and understand the beauty of these ancient buildings. Okay, this part is about ancient Thebes. Many tourists visit the area of ancient Thebes to see buildings such as the Ramesian, one of the most interesting ancient temples Special photos of the temple's floors and walls have been taken by CRC cameras. These will give archaeologists more information about the temple. The archaeologists would be able to use the photos if they needed to repair it. Now, question number one. Complete with gallery, Iraq, monument, repair, and temple. Number one, of course, is temple. Number two, Rami's bike is broken. How can we repair it? Number three, Baghdad is a city in Iraq. Number four, we saw some famous paintings in the New Art Gallery. Number five, the Sphinx is a famous, of course, monument. Okay, that's what I need from this page. Let's move to page 33. Okay, it's a review for this unit. Talk about the latest technology, number one, use required social media and transfer. I always read about the latest development in, the, in technology. I often, I often tell my friends about it on social media. In some countries, you can transfer money to or from a bank. The bank require the bank require to, you to write a special number online before you can do this. Okay, so easy exercise. Number two, use the second conditional with would, might, or could. I. I'll tell you again, please, the rule is, don't forget, if plus plus simple, would, might, could, plus verb, infinitive. Number one, it's answered already. Number two, if someone be unkind to you, you tell the teacher. So, make a question, or yes, um, if someone was unkind to you, okay, would you tell the teacher, would you tell the teacher, because it's a question. Number three, if I had money, I could buy a laptop. Okay, number three, encourage people to continue speaking, which I said before on page here, 31, okay? Encourage people to speak, you are going to use one of these or all of them. Okay, now, a dialogue between Laila and Magda. There's a story in the newspaper about a scam on, uh, on social media. Okay, Magda, tell me 
more. A robber found out the name and address of a rich man, Magda. After that, so what happened after that? He waited for the rich man to go away on business and then go on. It will be really go on. And then he went to his house and tried to take his money, but the police caught him. Okay, I think that was the last part here in your uh, in this unit. So see you inshallah next time. Good luck.